Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to be sharing you how I make my chicken tomato stew. Of course, we know stew is very important in the house. You can use stew for so many things like bread, rice, beans, plantain. The list is endless, I tell you. So here are the ingredients. Tomatoes, red bell pepper, scott bonnet pepper, sweet pepper, and red onions. Thyme, salt to taste, all in one multipurpose seasoning, stew seasoning, spring onions, nutmeg, curry powder, chicken flavor, maggi and no, tomato paste, garlic and ginger, the stock for the chicken and the chicken itself. This chicken has been cooked and uh, fried. So it's ready for the stew. So you just relax and watch me show you how I make this stew. This is my tomatoes. I washed it very well. I put it in the oven. So roast it, I have my spring onions, onions, scott bonnet pepper, sweet pepper, everything roasted in here. So I'll just blend this. We're going to have a very good mix with this. In a clean dry pot, I will go in with some vegetable oil. I'll turn on the lights. My oil is hot, I'm gonna go in with some onions. I'm adding these onions to give flavor to the oil and to create a good base for my stew. Once that is achieved, I will go in with my tomato paste. Keep stirring until everything mixes together. This is my blended tomatoes. As you know, I roasted all of this. You can see the texture I got is so good. This way, you don't even have to cook your stew for too long because already the tomatoes has no water in it. So I'll go in with this see how thick this tomatoes is because I roasted it you see we don't have water in it and it's so easy to blend without adding water so I will make sure I mix these tomatoes very well to get the consistency I want for this tea I see this stew is already looking good. <laughs> I'll go in with my stew spice, curry powder, all in one purple seasoning, thyme, nutmeg, no and chicken flavor. Cute. I will stir to make sure everything incorporates. I'll just leave it for about four minutes to allow it to do its thing. Okay, our stew is coming up good. At this point, I'm gonna add the stock from the chicken. I will stir to mix very well. I will add little hot water to this stew.
I blended the spring onions, red bell pepper, tomatoes, sweet pepper, garlic, and ginger together. Okay, right now I'll go in with my chicken. I told you I cooked this chicken. I marinated it first, cooked it a little bit, and air fried it. So it's ready to go into the stew at this point. Our chicken stew is coming up good, guys. So I will cover this pot and allow it to cook for about six minutes. This stew is looking good. The aroma in this kitchen. Wow. When your oil floats like this on the surface, this is a sign that your stew is ready. Yeah, but just to keep it healthy, I'm going to just take some oil from this pot. I can use it for my jello fries later or spaghetti. Whatever you want to make, you can save the oil for it. So this is just a sign to show you the stew is ready, guys. Just keeping this stew healthy. You can enjoy this stew with so many things like I told you earlier. Rice, beans, spaghetti, yam, plantain. This stew looks good, friends. I love this chicken stew. I'll test to see if I need to add salt on my Maggi chicken flavor. No, everything is okay. I don't need to adjust. This stew is good. If you like what you're seeing, please click on the like button for me. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification button so that you'll be the first to get my video each time I post it. I love this stew, friends. I love it. And don't forget to share this video with someone today. It might be very helpful. You never can tell. Till I come your way next time, keep eating healthy and remain blessed. I'm out. Boop.